I was uh, born at BB Hospital in Lewis, Delaware, and I grew up right here in Lewis, in the outskirts of Lewis, in a little place called Pine Town. Pine Town is basically a one way in, one way out, one street little town that consisted of three families. I had a great childhood. I enjoyed everything. We made mud pies, we played freeze tag. One year, my grandmother bought me a little 45 record player and it was portable. So we would go from house to house playing our 45s and dancing. Then Lewis, there was an elementary school and it was an all black school. All the teachers were black, all the kids were black, everybody was black. So I went there my first year of school. My second year of school, my dad said to me and to my sister who was 13 months younger than me, her name is Trudy, Trudy and I were scheduled to integrate the schools. That was what dad decided we were going to do. And no matter how much we cried and pleaded, he's like, no, you are going to that school. So for five years, I was the only black kid in my class. I can remember being called the N-word repeatedly. I remember getting in fights. My sister would come to my rescue and the two of us would fight together. And people would say to me, you think you're white. That's what the black kids would say to me. And then the white kids didn't want to be bothered with me because I was black. Was it a big deal when I look back on it? Yeah, it was a big deal. But my dad was the kind of person who wasn't going to let people tell him what he could and couldn't do. So that became a part of us. We weren't confined because he would not allow us to be. 